Like a Savannah song in I the think background. I we both got one like this. Your Asus thought mirror needs to be dismantled. Or crushed. Whatever. Boogie! Boogie kitty! Boogie kitty! I guess after running around all day, they're so tired. You know what's funny? It's like how sad the trampoline. <laughs> you know what's funny is that these three mine are out here while your cat is in my bedroom. That's interesting. It's night time. Yeah. It looks like my room is messy from the single, but it's really not. It's just a pile of clean clothes and those boxes are going out. And my two boys are acting really ridiculous. Hello! Why are you bothering? That's how they play. They nibble on each other's legs. Hello! And I'm really in a good mood. I'm I'm writing, and I don't I haven't been writing too much. And I've also started thinking about my next uh, big giveaway on my uh, well my other channel. But you know I've reached almost 1,500 subscribers, and I've crossed the 100,000 views mark. And it makes me think about the next um, yeah the next give big giveaway. I'm starting to think about what I want to give. Hello. So I just finished the bank. I got my student loan. I didn't get a very big sum just to kind of carry me through until I start getting paid. And it's been a very productive day. We just uh, went to the post office, got my beauty box, my true beauty box. It sucked. <laughs> and I've decided to cancel the true beauty box because I'd rather get stuff from other companies. And. <clears throat> it's just very expensive and you don't really get your your money worth. This time on our chapter of Kitty Sleeping Weird. Bookie! Hi Kitty! Hello Boogie! Hi! Yeah, it looks like this crap on my screen. Um, oh look, now it's clean. Uh, I'm going to sit down and film my favorites, my monthly favorites. Not for this channel, for my one in Hebrew. And, um, I was just sitting down and I did, oh, I did a get ready with me for this channel, so I'm really happy. So my look isn't completely clean, but if you want to basically see what I'm wearing today and if I got ready, then you're going to be able to see it on my beauty channel, so check it out. Um, I just watched the viral video that like hit a million people, a million views about Walmart and the police or something like that. Couldn't really understand it, but it made me think about the whole situation. Like, I know I don't live in the States, um, but you have to be pretty blind not to be aware of what's going on. Uh, Walmart is basically now open, not only the day after Thanksgiving, but on Thanksgiving itself. And for somebody who's been watching what's been going on with the American economy for years, and my my American family is, um, like, I, I think I've mentioned this before, my parents are not born here. That's why I can speak English, not like an Israeli. Um, my mom's side of the my mom's side of the family is American, and they come from an area that actually the economy hit pretty badly, and you can see it. And this whole kind of trend of buying and buying and buying, I mean, I'm not going to say that I'm not part of this culture, but I would think that to some extent it's kind of sad that it, it, it switches the focus from a holiday that's supposed to be really about family. It's not even a religious holiday. Um, it's a, it's a, I guess you would say national, local, whatever, but it's not a religious holiday. I know this because I'm Jewish, but if it was a Christian holiday, I wouldn't be aware of it. I wouldn't be... Wouldn't I've mentioned this? I think it's. In, I don't know if it's going to be in this vlog or the one before, but my mom's American, my dad's Canadian, and and that's the only reason why I'm not celebrating Thanksgiving because Canadians and Americans can't decide, can't decide on what the proper date is. But it's it's sad because it's all about the family, or at least you know, and the football and the hanging out and coming home from college or from wherever you live in the United States and. And here you are, and, and it's kind of taken away. It's all about the shopping, and that's kind of sad. And, I mean, Walmart employees are kind of the symbol of everything that's wrong about capitalism. And, I mean, I'm capitalist, at least some parts of me. But I just think that's disgusting. People get to... I think that they should be able to not work. I think that they should lay down a law 
that stores cannot be open on Thanksgiving and that way it's not it's it's clear and it's a given that employees are not working on that day I mean I don't know if you know this but in Israel but since it's a Jewish state there's a law that has to do with um, rest hours and days technically on, on Saturday nothing is open here until the evening okay and everything is supposed to be closed down by Friday e by Friday Eve and it varies according to when Shabbat comes in and according to the sunset at that time of year but uh, and if you're if you're Arab or if you're Christian then you're supposed to get your rest day on the day that's your rest day so for Muslims it's on Friday and for Christians it's on Sunday obviously and I really like that because even if you're not religious that kind of angers it and it's something that you know you some people might say but I like spending my day off going shopping but if your day off is on Saturday and you like shopping on your day off then somebody else has to work on that same you know rest day and since most of the pop since let's put it this way it's not that most of the population is Jewish although it is it has to do also with the fact that Jews live in Jewish populations and Arabics tend to live in Arab populations so even if you're saying okay I'll go to a store opened by an Arab that's great and all but you usually don't live in that area it used to be that before the second intifada oh god I sound so political on this channel it's supposed to be a beauty channel um, but this is one of the bad things about war it used to be that before before the second intifada way back then because the second intifada I think is considered 2004 um, Jews on Saturday used to, you know, secular Jews, which is most of the population, most of the Jewish population, I think, in Israel, well, at least for now, um, used to get in their car, drive over to, you know, like, Arab villages and stuff like that, and there used to be, like, these huge markets of furniture and fresh fruit and stuff like that, so it, it was wonderful, because if you were Jewish and you wanted to, you know, not have open stores around you, that wasn't a problem, you didn't have to work, and you still could go shopping, and on the other hand, Arabs make, used to make, you know, the you used to have neighbors, and you used to, Arabs are basically our neighbors. It's kind of sad that we put up a wall. I'm not going to get into the political discussion because it's so complicated, and don't push my buttons on this if you do decide to write me a comment. But I'm just saying that there's something really nice about anchoring your rest day and anchoring. So it's 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 it has to do with something that cannot be touched, like religion. It's something definitive. It's something that you cannot merge. You cannot um, change. So that's kind of nice, and it's kind of sad. I really, really feel bad about this, and yeah, it's kind of like we're turning into a generation in a world of of modern slaves, and not just high tech people who have to work ridiculous hours, but people who literally don't make enough money and are forced to do like retail Walmarting, Walmart, yeah, Walmarting on Thanksgiving. Kind of sucks. We're going to a Hanukkah party! Yay! Yay! I'm being embarrassed again by walking and talking. <laughs> and in English! <laughs> English bitch! <laughs> Bleep! Do you think you have a place? Where do you think you're going to put it? Here, here, here! Here, here! Here, here! Here, here! Here, here! Hi! What you doing? Panda. I bet. Hey, we're stuck here in the Bengali. Panda. Cutting the panda. 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 Panda